So if you have an IC7610 or a 9700 or IC705, there's some software that's been out for a little while now uh, called SDR Control for ICOM. And it's written by a guy named Marcus in Germany. Uh, he's written this for the ICOM and he also has software for the Flex Radio. So this is the main dashboard of the iPad version of the software. It's also available for uh, the iPhone and you can also buy it for uh, your Mac laptop. And this is the main dashboard that you're seeing here. There's a connect button in the upper right corner. You can click on that. Here are my three radios, the 705, the 7610, and the 9700. And we'll click on the uh, 7610 here and we'll connect it. I have the local IPs in here, but you can also uh, uh, put your public IP in and uh, connect to that if you add everything to your router. So it takes a few seconds for the radio to boot up. And once it gets its bearings here, you can see that we're on 40 meters. Uh, I'll adjust the RF gain a little bit. And once we get that set, uh, I'll hit the tune button and we'll tune up. Uh, this is tuning my Palstar HF Auto Tuner. Uh, if you had an LDG tuner or something like that, you could also tune. So uh, let's listen in. And this guy that's in here right now, he's a little bit light. Um, but you'll see after uh, after he's done, we'll pick up that guy that uh, was, was sort of strong there for a couple of seconds. And we'll come back to the guy that's louder. Yeah, just do a search on YouTube of, uh, you know, both Bang UV5R uh, TX mod. You'll, you'll find that uh, video. Uh, that, guy's, that guy's a hoot, too, man. <laughs> if you get the right guy, he is pretty, he's a trip. And now I'll we'll show you uh, FT8. All right, Brian. Uh, you hey, click thanks for on, stopping by, man. Uh, Hang pick out any uh, band that you want. Uh, We'll go to 10 meters, and we'll click the uh, receive button here, and you can see that it puts us on 10 meters automatically. Uh, I'll hit the tune button again. This uh, is going to switch over to my uh, my uh, Ringo on uh, antenna port two automatically on the on the uh, Palstar HF Auto, and we should start to see uh, some signals come in, and we'll try to work one. So we'll wait one more time, see if we can find something like okay. that. So we'll click on uh, the station in Hungary. So we have to wait the sequence out. If you look in the upper uh, bar there, uh, you can see uh, green is the uh, even cycle and blue is the odd cycle. you see it chasing across the screen there. So that when this gets done, we should connect to... Um, okay, we go into the transmit mode. Then we'll see if the guy can hear us. This is out on the main dashboard. You can see all the stations that are currently on. And here he comes. He's coming back to us. And his reply back. And we're sending him the 7-3. And what's nice about this program is it has a built-in logbook. So we'll go out here and we'll click on logbook. 
and there he is at the top we can click on him and we can say look up do that in a second here scroll down and we'll go to look up and we'll click him on QRZ it goes out and there's uh, there's our guy we just worked So now we'll back out of here and we will uh, stop the FT8. And we'll select uh, 20 meters. We'll select CW. And we'll scroll down to the, uh, the CW portion of the band. And you can hear my cuckoo clock going off in the background. And we'll retune. And this has a CW encoder and decoder. We'll adjust your RF gain a little bit. And we'll switch to filter 2. Tighten things up a little bit. And I'm still getting used to this part of it. And we'll hit uh, receive. And now it should start to decode. And we can click out here, we can go to the macros, and you can enter up to 10 macros in. And you can see that I have the macros there, so if I want to transmit, I can click on any of those. And we'll exit out of CW mode here. And we'll just move up here and uh, retune. Then I'll, I'll turn the volume down in editing here so I can show you some other things. Again, that was the macros. Uh, here's a POTA app, and you can click on anybody and tune to it. Whiskey One, Alpha Romeo Romeo. You're 5757 five, Rhode Island, standing by. Roger David, you're 5757 five, Rhode Island. Have a great afternoon, 73. I'll find another station. And we'll come out of here and I'll show you a few other things. There's a band plan you can look at in case you need a reminder. And go into the CW keyer settings. And here's the DX cluster. And you can find anybody and you can tune right to them if you want. And this is a lookup, so you can look up anybody. Look up myself there. Shows how far away they are from you. And here's the network statistics to show you how well your 
your connection is uh, over Wi-Fi or whatever. Okay, so we'll disconnect from from there and close things down. And there's also RIDI. So if you go to the um, the software for the laptop, you can have RIDI. And then here is uh, the iPhone software. And we'll bring up the waterfall. We can tune from here. And I have the waterfall set a little bit, uh, or the, the span set a little bit too tight, so it's a little hard to stop on a frequency. Alpha Echo Papa, did I get that right? Yes, sir. Uh, QSL, WA3, AEC. Andy here in Bomber, Pennsylvania. Uh, e car is 30904. And I wanted to join in and say good morning. And I'll say to, hello to the uh, folks up there in Canada, too, if they can hear me. And as you can see, you have a lot of the same options on the iPhone software as you do on the iPad software. So this is just the basics that I've shown you. Uh, there's a whole lot more that you can do. Um, the control over the radio is unbelievable, everything that you can do with it. Uh, again, there's three different software packages available, and this is only available for Apple products. Uh, it's available for the iPad, the iPhone, and your Mac. The iPad phone software i believe was around forty dollars or so i believe the software for the ipad was around 50 uh and i cringed when i bought it but the ipad or the uh, software for the uh the mac laptop uh is a hundred dollars probably one of the most expensive software packages i've bought besides video editing but uh it's a definite value add to the radio um, the radios, if you buy the 9700 or the 7610, it has uh, the built-in web server in it, or the built-in server, I should say. Uh, as of right now, this is not available for uh, the 7300 uh, for remote uh, over the network. But I do believe that you can take, if you have a Mac, you can take a serial cable and run it to the... 7300 and manipulate the 7300 run all the packages run the cw uh, encoder decoder and also do ft8 and ready and those kind of things so it's definitely worth a look um it may make the difference in somebody uh buying an icom radio over another radio uh it's nice to be able to be anywhere and actually use your radio uh, the only struggle that i've found so far is uh it took me a while to figure it out but the HF signal seems to really interfere with my 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal. Um, it actually throws me off the network and sometimes locks up the radio. And there's sometimes I can get an hour of use out of it and not have any problems. And that's only when I'm at home. Uh, but now uh, when I'm at home, I switch to 5 uh, gigahertz signal on my router and i haven't had any problems whatsoever so that's the only quirk that i found it took me a while to figure it out but i finally got that resolved and that's it thanks for watching